Hello, my name is Kevin Fitzpatrick, storage practice lead at Com Solutions. Today I will be reviewing the disk assignment within a NetApp storage controller. By default, the NetApp storage controllers ship with the disk auto assign enabled. When the auto assign feature is enabled, the disk will automatically be split amongst the controllers. So for example, if you have 24 disks within a shelf, 12 will be assigned to one controller and 12 will be assigned to another controller. This does not allow you to be able to provision your aggregates to a larger capacity if all the disks are being assigned to each controller on a 50-50 basis. So by disabling this option, you can manually go in and reconfigure the hard drives to be able to create aggregates at a larger size capacity. Today I will be showing you how to assign each one of those disks manually so that you can have a larger aggregate and not rely on the auto assign feature. I will be connecting to my NetApp filer through a PuTTY session. Once the PuTTY session pops up, enter your credentials. There's a simple command that you can run in order to show the number of disks that are unassigned. You should also note that if you disable the disk auto assignment, in the event that a hard drive is replaced due to failure, it will not automatically reassign itself to the father from which the hard drive failed. You will have to manually go in through the command line interface and run this command in order to ensure that a spare is now available to take place of the spare that was used to replace the failed drive. To see the list of disks that are unassigned, simply run the following command. Disk show dash n. You'll see that I have multiple disks that are unassigned. In order to be able to assign these disks, you need to elevate your permissions. Elevating permissions is done by entering priv set advanced, as seen here. You will notice that the priv set advanced has gone through due to the asterisk next to the host name. In order to assign a disk, you simply use the command disk space assign followed by the disk name. The disk name is the left column here. So for example, disk v4.16 is the name of the first disk in the list with this serial number. I would like to assign disk v4.16 to my primary SAN controller. By simply running the disk assign v4.16 and hitting enter, I can now see that that hard drive has changed from an unowned ID to the primary SAN ID. I can now run the disk show dash n command again, and I will no longer see the v4.16 disk. If you would like to be able to add multiple drives at the same time, you can use the same command, disk assign. However, leave a space in between the names of the disk you'd like to assign. For example, disk assign v4.17 space v4.18. I just successfully assigned two disks from the unknown list to the primary SAN controller. If I run the disk show dash n command again, I will now see that dot .17 and dot .18 are no longer showing as unknown. So let's go ahead and finish assigning the remainder of the disk to the controller. You can see that I've typed out the remainder of the unknown disk, and once I hit the enter command, all the disks will assign themselves to the primary controller. Now if I run the disk show dash n command, I should no longer see any unassigned disks. When you see no disk match option dash n, that means that all your unknown disks have been assigned to a controller. Should you need to remain in the command line interface to continue working, I would highly advise that you remove the priv set advanced commands. You can do so by setting priv set admin command as such. This will lower your credentials down to the root account so that you don't inadvertently run a command that you shouldn't be. I would like to thank you for taking the time to review this video regarding disk assignments within a NetApp controller. Have a nice day.